Shanza. Out of all the famous streets in Chengdu, these two alleys best encapsulate the beauty and history of this city. First, you've got Quan Alley, or Wide Alley in English. This has got a real relaxing feel with lots of wooden structures and greenery. Then there's Jai Alley, or Narrow Alley, which has got more of an exquisite element to it with more stone architecture. A little bit of history, these are the only Qing Dynasty streets left in Chengdu. They were originally built in 1718 to house soldiers from Manchuria and Mongolia. So it was built in the Northern Chinese Alley, or Hutong style. Hutongs are the kind of alleys you can find in Beijing that purposefully use square and rectangle shaped houses to make courtyards. In total this area has 70 courtyards. Elements of elegance exist here not just with the courtyards, but this area has been called Chengdu's Mansion. High ranking nobles would come here to drink tea, feast, and even set up their own homes. Some of these homes were even built in Western style. Take Xiaoyang Lo for instance. Upon first glimpse, you wouldn't think of this tall, beautiful building as a sad place. But in the 1930s, a soldier named Wang and his wife lived here because Wang had to leave home to fight the Japanese in the war and he never returned. This place is said to behold the memories of a wife forever waiting for her husband to return home. It's just one of many examples that there's more than meets the eye here to Guangzhai Xiangzi. A lot of the history here has been covered up by a reconstruction project that started in 2003. Many of the old courtyards have been transformed into cafes, bars, and tea houses. This is a phenomenon that you can see all across China. Old streets like these are being modernized for tourism, but I think Quan Chai alleys are the perfect representation for today's Chengdu. The capital of Sichuan has modernized quite rapidly over the past 10 to 20 years. Now today, it's full of historical and modern blends everywhere you look. But the spirit of Chengdu is alive and well here in Quan Chai Shanza. Just as it was before, it's still a place to relax and celebrate. When you come visit these two alleys, it's a great idea to grab some good grub, have a cup of tea, get your ears cleaned, and watch one of the famous Sichuan opera shows. To learn more about Chengdu's other beautiful attractions, check out my Chengdu playlist. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.